Buzzers, welcome again to another day with Kai Farm. So what we want to show you today and bring you along for is to really show you what it means to be organized in beekeeping. For me, I'm in my small little backyard beekeeping here. Um, one of the aim, or I should say, one of the key things to understand is that I am running the colonies as single chamber brood colonies and what that means is that typically there will be one box that the queen is confined to that area. I am using deep boxes so 10 frame deep boxes so that means the queen would be in that area just a single box and we use our queen excluder to kind of keep her in one box because she can't pass through the queen excluder so she'll have to remain in the box that's below the queen excluder all right or wherever she is she won't be able to pass to the next level now in that single chamber it's crucial to have as much worker cells and worker cells are pretty much the cells that the queen would lay into to basically create new workers that will carry on the lifeline of the colony itself yeah we want one we want to minimize the amount of drones in that brood segment and to maximize the amount of worker cells worker cells are used for all kind of things in the in the actual hive it is used to store honey it is used to store pollen and it is used for the queen to lay now what happened is that the more drone cells you have in there the less potential laying space the queen has right so overall i want to have all of my colonies very organized with worker cells completely built out in the frame now if you do the maths and do the research you'll realize that the frame can house approximately seven to eight thousand built out worker cells keep in mind that that amount will not always be for the queen because they're gonna store some pollen in there to make honey arch they're gonna store sorry they're gonna store some nectar in there to create that honey arch and two they're gonna store pollen in there so whatever is left back you want to make sure the queen has that space not a lot of my hives are, are were like that um, some of them had a lot of drone cells in the lower section so what I've done earlier um, pretty much after Hurricane Elsa was to take away I, I made a sacrifice and I took a risk I took away all the frames that were in my supers took out extracted the honey that I had them relying on to go through to this, the, the next season or to the next flow right took that from them um, let them clean out the frames with whatever residual honey was left back and basically cleaned off those frames with the wax and all of that melted the wax refined it and I made some foundation sheets as much as I could get from that process what I'm trying to do now is give them back those foundation sheets in the brood segments to let them build those out before next season start um, so basically I'm swapping out all the frames in the brood segment putting it above the queen excluder and ensuring that new foundation sheets are in the brood segment right so I am trying to organize the hive before the next season starts now granted you're gonna have a challenge if you're doing that when there isn't anything coming in in terms of nectar right you have to work with the bees if they're not finding something in the in the environment you're gonna have a little challenge for them to build any comb or build any foundation sheets right so what I've recognized is that after Hurricane Elsa had passed through a couple of weeks after that some things started blooming I didn't recognize which tree it was because it's not in my close proximity but for sure there was something how I knew that is that when I went into the hives and if you shook the brood frames you could definitely see where there was nectar dribbling all over whenever you shook the frames so that is a sign that they're finding nectar somewhere yes 
So we use that to our advantage. Um, luckily, we had built out quite a few of the foundation sheets then. So we swapped in pretty much like two. Some hives got one foundation sheet, some hive got two, and they were able to actually build those out. So what I'm going to do today is to bring you along to show you how some of the hives, um, this hive specifically, has been um, utilizing those foundation sheets and building it out. All right, so let's go and show you. And we have we have had some rain the later part of yesterday. Nice show of rain, so the ground is definitely saturated. Now, during this process, we wanted to go a little bit more smoother. So what we ended up doing as well was to supplementing them with some feed. Now that feed what we did was to mix um, some one to one sugar syrup and we added back some of the honey we took from them, right? And that kind of encouraged them to do more work at a quicker pace. You know, but we have to pair it with when something is coming in from the environment. If we don't do that, you're gonna have to spend too much resource to feed them to just get them to build out these frames. And I'm, what I'm talking about is from experience last year when I tried it when nothing was blooming. Pretty much they were very reluctant to build any form of comb. So, what you're seeing here is frames that I've actually swapped out up to the top here from the brood segment. Yeah? So most of these frames would have had some form of brood in them before. I'm going to see if I can show you how some of them are really jagged. Um, the comb isn't fully built out. Alright, so this is a prime example. So this is pretty much an old brood frame. You can see the drones are hatching out of it and pretty much this was what was in the brood segment before so you see they're not utilizing um, the full space of the frame in terms of from corner to corner and i see they have a little cup here right so they're not utilizing from corner to corner so i'm not getting full efficiency on this frame so when i give them a foundation sheet the foundation sheet pretty much is from corner to corner with a 3-8 space so they can move um, between the actual um, frame or foundation or comb that they build out as you see there's dribble here um, I have fed them so you're gonna see a little bit more dribble um, in the combs all right so let's give you a, a next example of what is coming from below so this is another one I took from below. This one you're seeing a little bit more space being utilized by them. Yes, but as you see here, half of it is drone comb. So that's it for frames we have swapped out. So we're just gonna bring you along now and show you what it is like in the brew chamber now, given that I have actually supplemented them with nicely embossed foundation sheets with worker size um, cells. So as we mentioned before, their operation involves the use of a queen excluder. Um, so the queen is confined to the lower segment of this colony. And it's, she's in a deep 10 frame box so we refer to it as a single chamber hive management, all right? So basically 10 frames, there are some frames that we still would want to swap out in the long run. <coughs> Sorry, these to the end here are some of the frames that we would swap out soon. So let's give you an idea. So here you go, they're not using the, fr the home effectively so they have this space here this frame is a little bit warped and wonky and as I said once you have your hive going and they're really established they're going to use some aspect of it for stores as you can see they have a little arch here with um, nectar and honey being stored 
and occasionally when there's a lot of pollen coming in you'll see where pollen is being stored as a little rim around the brood as well and sometimes it will also be mixed in with the brood as little patches you know so that is one glimpse of an older frame yes now let's just rest this outside so i have a little bit more space in the hive to work with now we're doing this inspection early morning ideally we tend to wait a little bit more um, till later in the day however when i do that i am never really successful in actually doing a recording because the camera um, starts to overheat when there's a lot of sun on it so really i have to get you this um, perspective in the morning all right so what you're looking at here now is a foundation sheet that we gave them now as you can see here it is completely built out with worker cells no drone cells on this yes back and front yeah and now what will happen is that the queen will potentially have 10 frames similar to this right so that's kind of the goal to get all of these frames really organized like that and the good thing is this right once you put in foundation sheets you don't have to keep doing this every season right or prior to every season the goal is to just get them organized one season and they can literally stay like that because you won't necessarily need to be um, changing those out every year you can do it within the space of three to six years you can leave those frames down there the good thing is that they're organized they're using full space or the full volume of the frame for, for laying space so as you see this is the next foundation sheet that was given to them completely built out and the queen is using it from corner to corner and that's really the goal of being organized if you're running say for example double deep setups you don't necessarily have to put so much energy into organizing the hive but you'd be surprised how more effective and efficient the hive can be if they are organized for somebody that's starting out you might not necessarily have the resources um, to do it but for a long-term goal this is i believe where you want to be um, very organized in the brood segment so just gonna show you there this is our next frame again um, this was one that was given even way before those others you know so you see they're making quite good work of the space that was given to them yeah and that's the crucial thing ensuring the queen has ample space ensuring these frames are really being used as effectively as possible as i said i still have a few that i would want to get out i think i showed you one prior to when we just started this lower section inspection um, this one not too bad it can stay in there for for a while um, we're not too fussy about this but um, it's really just the corners what you'll find is that when they want to now start to raise drones you'll see them actually build out this little corner with drone cells so i'm not too worried about this one but you see the frames that are really wonky and and warped and half of it is taken over by drone cells those have to come out of the brood segment and it's it's really because we're running single chamber as i said if we're doing double chamber setup where the queen had room to roam in two boxes then we wouldn't need to necessarily be disorganized but over time long term regardless of double chamber single chamber this is the level of organization you'd you typically want to aim for we, we really would implore you to 
think about harvesting wax from your colonies, um, making some aspect of sacrifice to take the wax from your, your supers and um, get some foundation built. And then what you can do now is that once you put the foundations in the brood segment, you can then now swap out the older frames back into your super and then you'll you'll still have um, enough, potentially enough to use in your supers, right? So this is our next one that was given to them and the lovely queen is on this frame as well. So you can see they, they build this out, the queen is pretty much laying the entire span here. I'm seeing eggs and here she is. Yeah. So we're just giving her that level of organized colony you know we are helping them a little bit along the way as i said the benefit of doing this is that one the hive will have a full complement of worker cells down here um, for the queen to maximize her laying space all right so that's pretty much a glimpse of how we're organizing our hives before next season there's a little bit of sacrifice involved in it um, in terms of taking away um, our already built super frames but as you can see this hive in particular we're pretty much back to the number of um, super frames we had um, so the hope is that some hives will potentially not build out home as quick as this so the ones that are moving faster will assist in getting me some home for those um, like this one this one is a very fast one at building home so eventually i'll potentially be able to get two more um, two more frames being cycled up so if you remember this top section here had i think eight frames already so those two will potentially go to our next hive um, because in the supers I, once they're, they're built out combs, I run um, nine, eight to nine frames up here um, for them to just um, store the honey and make some fat um, honey comb, yes? So pretty much this hive is set. So this hive is on a good path to being uh, quite organized for next season. Um, we just have to do, we'll just have to just keep monitoring it and keep it going like this. This year the goal is to really be prepared way in advance of last year. Last year we were really aiming for December. Um, what we recognized last year is that we had the Aki trees really kicked in to full bloom there about October, November. So this year we want to actually be prepared and ready um, so by October. So September is our cutoff um, in terms of any form of supplementary feeding and so forth so what we'll do our best practice is that once we've done our process of getting the hives organized in the brood segments we'll actually now start letting them um, clean out and rub out these super frames so they can actually be put in um, without any form of contaminated um, sugar syrup um, there about yes so we'll let them rub it out and pretty much fill in the brood segments with all that extra that they're getting from these frames and then we'll leave it like that for there about uh, two, two to three weeks without them having any supers so that means anything that's coming in they'll kind of pack it in the brood segment um, to ensure that they're covered down there and have enough food down there in that segment and then after that we'll pretty much just drop these back in um, and space them out accordingly 